Hi, welcome to your channel, The Ancients. I am your host, Dr. Moharam Ghosh, and I have done research of over 23 years in the field of astrology, numerology, and Vastu. I would like to start the video today by wishing all my viewers very happy Raksha Bandhan. The video I bought for you today is about the photos of our ancestors. I'll be sharing more about the right placement and the rituals to be followed regarding the placement of the photos of our ancestors at our home and offices. But before we go on to that, let me share with you a brief about the channel, The Ancients. The channel, The Ancients, was started by me in February 2021. In a short span of six months, we've got over 270 subscribers and 4,000 views. The reason for this phenomenal growth is I share with you, with my knowledge of research in astrology, numerology and Vastu, the very essence and extracts of Vastu, astrology and numerology so that you can live a life filled with good health, wealth, prosperity, success, ensure career growth, have peace of mind and enjoy harmonious relationships with your near and dear ones. I request all those of you who have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and also share these videos with your friends and family so that they too will benefit from these videos. Encourage them also to subscribe to the channel. Coming back to our main topic, the photos of our ancestors, the right placement and rituals to be followed as per Vastu. Friends, our ancestors deserve our affection. They are responsible for us. They give us blessings. They help us overcome multiple obstacles in our life. The best direction for keeping the photo of your ancestors is in the southern wall in the southwest corner. If you keep them here, they bless you and ensure prosperity and positivity in your home. On Amavasyas and during Shrad Paksha, you should ensure that you do puja to them and also feed cows in their memory. This will enhance your prosperity, good health and positivity in your home. Always put a tilak of sandal wood on their photographs. You should always while doing so use your index finger and never use your ring finger. The ring finger should be used to, for putting tilak on gods and goddesses. The index finger for putting tilak on your ancestors. You can also, to honor them, put a chandan garland on top of their photographs. On, on Amavasya, on if you remember their birthdays, death anniversary, and other such momentous occasions, you can give dan in their name. This again will ensure good health, prosperity and positivity in your lives, help you overcome multiple obstacles. At least weekly once, light a diya of oil near the photographs. If this is not possible, not to worry. As long as you do some dan, give them a garland, put tikka on their photographs and ensure during Pitra Paksha Namavasya, you do puja to them. Clean the photographs of your ancestors on a regular basis. Ensure there is no dirt on it. The photograph of ancestors should never be hanged 
opposite the main entrance of your home or anywhere in the portico where you see them immediately on entering this is not permitted keep the photographs of your ancestors only in the southwest direction southwest wall also i recommend that you do not keep the photographs of your ancestors in your bedroom there has to be a single place in your house on the southwest wall where you keep the photographs of your ancestors another thing i have noticed frequently is people tend to keep photographs of live people and dead people together that is our ancestors and live people together avoid this it may be a photograph in which live live and dead people are together that's a separate thing but a photograph of a dead ancestor and then photograph of a living person kept by you together no avoid that ensure that below the photograph of your ancestors you give us sturdy base so that the photograph does not shake in wind and get disturbed this is considered very inauspicious at least ensure that you have put hung the photograph in such a way if you cannot give a base that the photograph is always stable and steady do not hang their photographs and insult them by putting it in your washroom toilets or on those connecting walls this will get into a lot of obstacles in your life in the brahmasthana of your house never have the photograph of ancestors and i have also noticed in my frequent travels to my friends houses that they tend to keep photographs of their ancestors in their mandir ancestors are not gods they are your ancestors human beings who will give you their blessings and good wishes but keeping it in a mandir is forbidden as per vastu like i said south wall southwest corner keep the photograph of your ancestors pray to them it's a very good habit but not in the mandir i hope i am clear by what i am suggesting regular prayer to our ancestors is a sure shot way of ensuring their blessings when they bless you you get blessing of good health positivity to your home reduction in the obstacles in your life and prosperity friends i am sure that you find these videos which i bring for you regularly very beneficial for you i would request you once again all those of you who have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel also share these videos with your friends and family so that they too can benefit for my subscribers who are already 270 plus in numbers my heartfelt gratitude thank you you make a difference to our channel friends till we meet again shortly with another very informative video on your very own channel the ancients good luck all the best stay safe